Hello, welcome to Encore. I'm Rochelle Harrison Pless in Paris. Coming up on the show. She's one of the most bankable stars in Bollywood today, with a career that's seen her play everything from a supermodel to a schizophrenic and a shape-shifting mutant. Now, Kangna Ranaut is spreading her comedy wings, starring in Bollywood's runaway hit film Queen, which is set to open in French cinemas. Well, Kangna joins me in the studio. Let's go and meet her. Hi, Kangna Ranaut, thanks very much for being here today. Uh, now, you star in Queen, a bittersweet uh, Bollywood tale of self-discovery, uh, which hits French cinemas on the 23rd of uh, September. Will you do the honours and give us a, a quick summary of what the film is about? Uh, well, the film is uh, a travel film where this girl who goes through a bitter breakup with her fiancé and loses her confidence is uh, set on a journey to discover uh, Europe, but she ends up discovering herself, ends up, um, you know, finding her self-worth and confidence. Okay, well, let's take a quick look at a clip. It's my best. 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 It's my Kissing best. Prove it. Now, uh, Queen was released in uh, your native India uh, a year and a half ago, but it's just getting a release here in France. Um, now, interest in all things Bollywood, I think, is really growing here and elsewhere. How does it feel to, to witness this uh, enthusiasm um, to this particular part of Indian culture? For us, it's very um, flattering. It's extremely gratifying that our culture, our movies, and our people are so loved and welcomed in other countries, and especially Europe, you know, because we love European films, we love French films, and um, French uh, actors and artists, and uh, we are extremely thrilled to uh, release our films here. Okay, so mutual love all around. <laughs> <laughs> now, much was uh, made of the fact that um, here's a Bollywood film that does away with a central female character whose ultimate goal uh, is to get married. So we're not seeing that anymore. Now, some said this was refreshing. Others said that in 2015, this shouldn't even be an issue. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it's true that it, this film um, carries a strong current of uh, feminism in it. And... Uh, um, I mean, it's yes, uh, the, I think 30 years ago also this film would have been relevant in our society and country, and it still is. <laughs> so um, I think we really have a lot to work on <laughs> in our country as far as how, um, you know, women rights are and how women are treated for sure. Okay. Now, well, Bollywood is well known for being quite a, a male-dominated uh, industry. Now, do you feel a responsibility personally to to uh, play roles that empower women? Oh, yes. I feel um, uh, t some of them uh, does sort of uh, have very cliche and very stereotypical roles for women. And now somewhere the, the mainstream has, uh, the definition of mainstream has broadened. And uh, so films like Queen are getting mainstream release. And I feel as an actor, this is a great time for actresses and women. Okay, and um, you, you've been in the game for over a decade now. Yes. Um, you said you were an outsider, though, when you started in Bollywood. So how, how hard was it to crack the industry? Well, it's very hard, just like any other industry, and also because we are 130 billion of us. That's right. <laughs> we, <laughs> I forgot about that more. little detail. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more competition there. And, uh, um, and also, it's very hard to break into an industry where you don't have... Um, you don't have much understanding of or you don't know many people. Uh, so it's been a journey. I, I call it a journey of a thousand miles. <laughs> okay. And now one of your first uh, box office hits was your award-winning turn as a supermodel, um, struggling to cope with the flagging career. Uh, that was the 2008 drama Fashion, directed by Madhur 
Bandakar. I yes. apologize for that uh, right. pronunciation. Uh, let's take a quick look. Air snapped. Oh my god. Girls, go quickly. Go. Shunali. Will you please Shunali. go for your finale lineup? Just line relax. Up? Calm down. Please calm down. Okay. Help us stop the media from coming inside. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> calm down, Shunali. Okay, well, earlier in your career, you were criticised by some in the Indian press um, for taking on, quote, uh, neurotic roles. You then branched out into comedy with uh, films like Tanu Weds Manu and uh, its sequel, which uh, came out this right. year, I believe. Yes. Now, how challenging was it to make that move into the comedic roles? I think, uh, yes, my earlier choices were kind of limiting me, and I won't call it just my choices because I weren't uh, really offered many roles and I wasn't doing really well so I was sort of trapped in all neurotic characters uh, but Queen has been a life-changing experience and uh, um, and the humor is very subtle the best part is that it's a humor that is universal as opposed to the loud slapstick typical <laughs> of, a, yeah. of the Bollywood genre yeah. you mean right okay well uh, in Bollywood circles you've been uh, singled out for speaking your mind on certain issues um, from marriage to wage equality. Um, why do you think this has earned you a reputation as being outspoken? Um, I, th I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to be any other way because I'll just just be myself but it's a shame that you need to you you are being called out for being outspoken as opposed to someone if, if a guy does that he's supposed to be cool or maverick or you know supposed to be uh, aspirational but when I think a woman does it she just comes across someone who's too opinionated but I won't change <laughs> no don't change don't change Kavna. well well said um and I wanted to ask you because I did read um that you were once asked to endorse um, skin whitening creams, um, but you refused uh, oh, yes. to, to do that. Um, do you feel a need uh, to break uh, Indian society's uh, obsession with with fair skin and perhaps you know the discrimination directed at those with uh, darker skin? Um, it's very sad, and I, f I find it extremely humiliating because we are a country of uh, people, you know who. Um, who and Indians, you know, I think we are beautiful and we, sh we our women uh, sh should not be subjected to this discrimination and there shouldn't be, um, it's, it's just, you know, they're, they're, they're just sort of being stripped of their confidence and their self-worth by endorsement of such creams called fairness creams, you know, and I, I oppose it and I am very, very ashamed that many celebs uh, propagate it and endorse it. I just can't do my bit. Okay. I wasn't aware that celebrities in India actually um, endorse. Uh, they do. There are plenty of those. And um, endorse those creams. And the ones that who are in A League and people really look up to, and uh, the 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 way advertisements are, it's, it's just like someone who is uh, wheatish. Uh, they're subjected to. They, they don't get jobs. This is how the storyline of ad advertisement. They don't get spouses or relationships are not working because of their wheatish skin, and uh, brown skin. And then they find this cream and they apply it and they become lighter and then they are the world is nicer to them wow. it is so painful that uh, you can't just sit through something so I, i'd call it criminal but actors do that so mm -hmm. does many other models and i i feel that we should um we mustn't fall yeah. for such you know traps it's also your your sister i read that your sister is is dark is darker skinned and it, that was actually also one of the reasons so am that, I. like I'm, yeah. I'm a brown girl and i'm so proud of myself and i wouldn't want so to be any be. other way <laughs> <laughs> i get so much attention being <laughs> like this and uh, i i don't want to be any other way fair enough um so well kangna what's what's next for you um you've you've got this uh, great film queen coming out in french cinemas What's next? Uh, um, now my another uh, release is um, on the 18th September and uh, uh, it's called Katti Bati and uh, then there are more films coming next year. So I'm looking forward to French release of Queen. It's a very special film to me. Okay, and you, you said earlier um, uh, during uh, before the show that, uh, that you're only here in Paris for a couple of days. What, what do you plan to, to get up to? Shopping, lots of coffee and cupcakes. Paris is my favorite city and though it was a short trip, 
and I'm in the middle of my pro promotions. Like I mentioned, my next film is on the 18th. And uh, I'm like, it's for three days. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to hear that it's not all work and, and no play. So, <laughs> okay. Well, Kangna Ranaut, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank it was you. a sure. pleasure to meet you. Uh, we're going to leave you with a clip from Kangna's next film, a romantic comedy called Cutty Butty. Now, do remember our website. Plus, we're also on Twitter and Facebook. Stay tuned for more news here on France 24.